So I'm sitting here with uh, Jeff Anderson and Brian O'Halloran, the stars of Clerks 2, which is in theaters this week. Um, and uh, thanks, guys, for coming to Scene Stillers and uh, being interviewed in the uh, Screenland office or whatever. Thanks for having us. Of course, of course. So uh, real quick, uh, Clerks was made for something like $27,000 or something like that. Yeah, just shy of 28, right. How much was Clerks 2 budgeted at? Uh, in Hollywood terms, just about the same. It was only uh, five million dollars. So in uh, Hollywood budget-wise, uh, that's a small, tight film, small crew. So does that mean that you guys didn't have to load the gear every day? Or well, we did. Let, work? Let's face it. Affleck got four point three million for showing up for one day. <laughs> so we were still carrying stuff. Nice, nice. Uh, and then uh, I was originally kind of hesitant, actually, about this whole idea when I first heard because I love Clerk so much, and, and uh, uh, I was just kind of like, you know, I don't know where this is going to go. And then I saw the movie, and I realized, you know, this is a really great idea, and also it kind of ties into my own life, which is sad and pathetic. Thirty-two, and you're flipping burgers? Jesus, anyone else from our graduating class back there? Did you guys both think that this was a good idea right away, or did you like need a little needling, or? Uh, when Kevin came to me and, and told me we had just wrapped up uh, putting down dialogue track for the uh, missing scene and the 10-year anniversary DVD of Clerks, and uh, being a working actor, I was like, "Yeah, absolutely. You know, I can't wait to see what these, you know, what these guys do next." What about you, Jeff? I, on the other hand, was less <laughs> enthused. Uh, no, Kevin, uh, when he first came to me with it, said he was thinking of doing a sequel, and I flat out told him no, wasn't interested. Really. Yeah, it's just, you know, Clerks was kind of a weird movie that I think a lot of the success of Clerks was sort of the backstory. It was the $28,000 budget. It was this black and white movie. Right. You know, it had been 12 years since we did the original and not exactly a movie that was screaming for a sequel. <laughs> um, it just felt to me like we had a better chance of screwing it up than actually making a movie that would improve upon it. Right. I just, I thought, you know, he was coming off a of Jersey Girl, which, you know, he got beat up for. And uh, I was sort of questioning why right. why now come back to Clerks, it, it just didn't make a whole lot of sense. It seemed like kind of a crazy move um, just to like prove something, but the, the nice thing about it is, is the movie actually works as its own movie, you know what I mean? And, and uh, yeah, and it was, a lot, it was a lot more vulgar than I thought it was going to be, which was nice. Mm -hmm. Coming off a of Jersey Girl, you know what I mean? 17-year-olds mm. nowadays are crazy, they're up for anything. They even like it when you go ass to mouth. So what about the title? Uh, there's, it's just Clerks 2 now, right? Correct. But there were some kind of nutty titles being considered. I know The Passion of the Clerks at one time. Right, that was the first working title of Kevin. I mean, uh, the script, when we were doing all this, was, was about a, almost two years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, when he came out with the first draft of the script, it was, you know, Clerks, The Passion of the Clerks. And uh, at the time, that big blockbuster, Passion of the Christ, had happened, and it was kind of funny. And you know, it actually is very funny that right. the passion of these clerks going through these trials and stuff. But uh, it got pushed back. It got kind of weird to to get it up to to production because it was involved in the Miramax Weinstein kind of divorce, and right. and so that pushing it back. And then Kevin then got involved as an actor in another film called uh, Catch and Release, which took up about six or seven more months of the time. So. By the time we were ready to put it into production and then its eventual release, that, that kind of, old. it's a little old, it's cute, it's funny, you know, and it's something that, you know, was never really in stone, so. And never clerking around? Clerking around. <laughs> was that actually considered? I, I read that somewhere, but I didn't uh, know. Still clerking. Still uh, you clerking. know, there was a bunch of things thrown out, and it was really funny. Once somebody posted on, on Kevin's site, it should be clerks to fuck you. Oh, nice. Which I think was kind of appropriate, but, yeah. you know, yeah. Clerks 2 is simple and classic. Right. It, it worked for Basic Instinct too, so why not? <laughs> I done money. Well, you guys, uh, speaking of uh, Basic Instinct 2, you guys have a hottie in your movie, Rosario Dawson. Did she need convincing? Was she into this? Or was it just because she got to make out with you? What? What? Uh, <laughs> no, um, she was really perfect for the role. Um, there were a couple of names thrown out there because uh, Harvey Weinstein was like, you got to give me some of the women you have. Nobody's as the guys. Um, you got to give us something. And he had come up with this list of women that, that Kevin had to go through, and, and the one that he kind of like was reluctant to ask was Rosario because he thought she would never in a million years do something like this. She was coming off such other really good films, you know, like Sin City and, and whatnot. But they sent her a copy of the script, and her people read it, and they said, we like this. And they sent it on to her, and she read it that first night and loved it and was on board immediately. And uh, when she showed up for the first reading, 
um, we were all nervous because, you know, here's this A-list type of actress coming in, and, and we're all like, oh, my God. And she totally caught everything. She totally dug all the humor. She really got the delivery down right, right out from the beginning. And uh, from that point on, we were like, this is cool, you know. Nice. She's a comic book reader. She's a science fiction fan. She's really, you know, an East Coast type of feel. It was nice. Emma, who was the hottie and in basic instinct to?